Welcome back, everybody, to another bright and sunny. Bright and sunny. Wednesday. Not as hot as it has been, so not a hot Wednesday. It's not terribly sunny out either. It was like 100 degrees last week. It was us. pretty warm last week. Yesterday was beautiful, though. It was, and today's not so bad either. So, anyway, hi, everybody. Thank you guys for joining us so much today while we uh, tackle this new game. This new game. It's called Rift Force, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the name of it, Rift Force. It's not, and it's a game that is not quite out yet. Um, not just so here. everybody knows, not here in the United States. It was released overseas. Capstone is bringing this over as part of like their smaller, uh, smaller box game line. I forget. Like it's just like all of the strategic decisions you'd expect from Capstone, but a much smaller game. Yeah, it's a very elegant. I mean, I've watched. I haven't played it, uh, but I did watch a video on it and skimmed the rules. Although Ryan's in charge of teaching this today. Yes. Yeah, well. uh, and it seems like a very elegantly designed two-player back-and-forth card battling game. Yeah, I think so. I think it's, it's, I mean, it's pretty simple, uh, but I think there's going to be a lot of decisions going yeah, on. Yeah, the actions are simple, but the actual like decisions you have to make are super complicated and super difficult. But of course, we're giving uh, we're going to give away a copy of this. The reason I said that is because whoever wins isn't going to get it till it comes out. And it'll be out sometime closer to Gen Con-ish, like Probably, August, yep. September. So we're just giving you guys kind of an advanced look at it here today. It's so also thank a nominee, you. right? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Thank you, David. This game, one of the reasons we were so excited about playing it, it was nominated for the Spiel Award, which is the Game of the Year Award in Germany. It's a kind big, of a big deal. Kind of a if big you, prestigious deal. If you haven't deal. heard about that. If you've never heard of it, yeah. Uh, it's a big prestigious deal, and we're super excited to be able to get it get it a little bit early um, so we can show it off. But if, So a big thank you to our sponsor, Capstone. Also a big thank you to our sponsor, Game Toppers, for continuing to support us here and give us cool things to play on and, and play around with. And then also... A big thank you to last week's sponsor, which was Formal Ferret Games, for sponsoring our uh, playthrough of the Rival Network. So yeah. We're giving away a copy of that, and I really hope that you're U.S.-based, because that giveaway was just for U.S. Uh, it's Kevin M. You uh, you won. Yeah, and I, he's in the comments already. I actually see, yes. Congratulations, Kevin. You did win. Uh, so please email us at manversusmeeple at gmail.com. Thank you for uh, cheering for David. Yeah. You guys share a favorite player color, yellow. That's oh, what he said in his perfect. comment. So I mean, I like yellow. I'm gonna stick with yellow. I like orange probably the best, but orange. You know, orange, orange is one of those. Available. Orange is one of those ones that's really hard to. You don't get it in a lot of games. No, but yellow is usually a really golden yellow. Did right. you tune in for this, or did you tune in for Rift Force? Like a conversation about player color. All oh, right. You know what? That's a chit chat episode right there. Yeah. How do they decide the player colors that go in the box? Yeah. This game uses blue and almost like a goldish yellow. It is a golden yellow. That's this is my this is my. This type is of your yellow. type of yellow. So I assume yellow. that you will be yellow. For I don't this. like so a let's, light yellow. Let's go ahead. Let's jump in and take a look at what the uh, actual game looks like. So you're gonna see it feels a little bottom heavy right now because we're actually gonna be playing up in this area as we play. So right now we have all of the different guilds out here, and there are 10 guilds that are linked to different kind of elements. You'll see like ice and crystal and nature. And like there's, there's 10 of them. So these are all the different potential guilds. When you're thinking about this game, it's it's almost got like a smash-up vibe. I mean, a little bit. And you're choosing bit. a couple different decks and you're mashing them together. Except unlike smash-up, you're not worrying about like card combos, but you're looking at the different... Um, guilds that these are part of and the values and the values uh and there are 10 different guilds and each one is run by a guild master and you can kind of see those here and we'll we'll talk about these as we draft them but there's 10 to choose from we're each going to get three and we're going to take those three decks and mix them together you'll see the numbers and the suits it almost kind of looks like a trick-taking game um almost almost just in that there's cards with numbers C correct and, oh there's and only one seven okay or yeah, no two sevens these two all sevens. have different um they have different breakdowns of they go five to cards, seven i believe they, they go five to seven there are more fives in each guild than there are sevens yep uh obviously the sevens have this is effectively their health uh at the end of the day but they're all going to each guild is going to activate according to their guild master so when you activate them, they're going to do a thing, and we're basically battling over this rift. Clever oh, name, rift. They, they said that the feed is messed up for some reason. It's broadcasting as chit chat, which is super weird. YouTube was giving me errors yesterday too when I even tried to make that chit chat one. I'll fix it. I'll be right back. This is not chit chat. This is not chit chat, but I'll be right back.
Okay, look, it says Rift Force now, so everybody's yes. in the right place. So I, I don't know what happened and with that, the switching feeds there. That but. doesn't mean that we're not going to have a chit chat tomorrow night. We are still going to have a chit chat tomorrow night. Yeah, chit chat will st it's still up there. It's I'm still just, up there for I'm tomorrow. But it. yeah, uh, so we are still doing that. This is not taking the place of chit chat. No, this did not. But thanks for pointing that out, guys. I want people to be able to know that it's the right video. So yes, it's. You're wondering Force why? Now. I'm guessing that's going to explain why no one was in the, the chat early. we were seeing before things started. Right. But, you know, it's good now. But yes. come back Wednesday, Thursday, tomorrow night for Chit Chat. Yes. Do both. We, we, we got together. A quick plug for that. We got together with Jeremy Howard came down last week. And yeah. we got together in real life to play some games for yeah. the first time in a long time, the group of us. Uh, we played a lot of games. So we're really just going to spend tomorrow's Chit Chat talking about some cool new games. Yeah, it's going to be great. We're going to talk about everything. We, yeah, we talk about everything we played IRL. It'll be exciting. All right. But Rift Force. So we already talked. So we have the decks out here. We have the 10 different guilds, and we're going to draft these. And we're, who wants to go first? Do you want to go first? Or no, no, you go first. I'll go flip first. It. Oh, let's flip it. So we got this little token, this tiny little token here. That's So yellow goes first. Looks like me. So David's going to be playing on the bottom here, and I'm going to be playing on the top just so everybody knows. So you're going to go first, which means I actually pick first. Okay. But before we do that... Do you just pick through the whole deck? No, before we do that, we're going to remove two. Okay. At random. So there's always two guilds that you won't get. You want to remove them? Yeah. <laughs> so every so out of the ten guilds, you'll always have two out, and then each we're going to choose three. So we're only going to see six of the potential ten. We guilds removed here. these two. Shadow and ice. Shadow and ice. Oh, so no shadow, and no ice. All, All right. right. Well, they're done. They're so out. now, how do, do we just get first crack yeah. at all of those? Oh, okay. Well, we'll go back and forth. Um, Why don't you explain some so, of them as you go? So, let's see what we've got here. So, we've got light. I can just place two damage at an en the, f the first enemy at a location, and then heal one damage from an ally. Yeah, and let me That's interject really, really quick here. Quick overview of the game. On your turn, you're going to either be playing some cards into your side or activating some That's cards. That's true. And what he's talking about is when you're activating your cards, you're effectively, typically going to be doing some damage. But light does some healing, too. Yeah. All right, and then uh, air air uh, elementals are going to move around the board and little do, movement. Da do little damage movement. as they move. Um, fire elementals are going to deal a lot of damage, and then they're going to hurt uh, the, like whoever's themselves, behind whoever's them. behind them. Yeah. The lightning, or is it lightning? Oh, I'm curious. Shock? Thunderbolt. Thunder. The Thunder Guild, two damage at any enemy on that location, so they get to so decide. Some, so some flexibility, because usually right. you're doing damage. Most of these are doing damage to the first enemy, which is going to be the enemy closest to the rift. Yeah. So uh, we, were only, we, we were only supposed to remove one. I'm sorry. You're right. We remove one, then we each draw one randomly, and then we choose one each. But that's fine. We'll, we'll just... You still remove four. Um, the gem uh, crystals, they do four damage, so they do the most damage. But when they're destroyed, they give your enemy an additional victory point. So they're a little dangerous to use. Then you have water, which is here. They do two damage, and then they can move around. So they move around a lot like air does. Uh, the plant people, the nature, I think it's nature. I want to use the right terms here. They do damage, but then they move the Plants. enemy that they hit. Yes. And then uh, stone, earth. Stone does damage, but they also... This, stone is the only faction or guild that does damage when you play the card, yeah. too. So we're each going to get one at random to start. Are you going to draw it out? I'm going to draw it out without looking. All right. What's this one? I don't know. That's the one. Who are you? Water. Water. Place two damage on the first enemy at this location. Move so this one. So you're going to take okay. the water deck here. So I can move around. That's Moving around is not a bad thing in this game because there is some points to be scored if you control one of these sections of the rift. I'm going to choose randomly. I'm not even looking. Unless you want to draw four. Here. I'm not even looking. Uh, plants. Okay. All right. And then we have six left. We should technically have seven, but we already got rid of one. And you, uh... And then I believe I pick first. They, now they've got me worried about that. I believe I pick first. If I'm going first, my guess is that you pick first. No, you pick first. Okay. So go ahead. Who do you want? Uh, I am going to... So I read the rules. I thought it was one each. You're right. It's just one, period. Not one for each player. That is removed from the game. Though, I'm gonna ultimately... I'm going to Crystal. Ooh, dangerous. Uh, so I've got plants that move things around. I think I want air. Air moves things too. So I've got 
two guilds now that move things. I don't know if that's good or not, but... Um, yeah, that's correct, Julian. That's how what we're doing. I just, for some reason, I, I can't tell you why. I thought it was one remove one per player. I'm going to go Thunder. Ooh. I think I want Earth. I like that idea of it doing something when it comes out. So, we're not using Fire or Light. So, I have my... I'm going to have to give these cards a quick shuffle. Oh, you should definitely shuffle them. So, I have my four guilds, which I'll kind of put up here. Uh, or my four guild people. Here, why don't we put them where they normal? Oh, it's three and three. Or three, huh? yeah. Yeah, you put mine down there and yours over there. So there's these guys and then these guys. These guys. These guys. Oh, I'm sorry. We should have four, not three. Yeah, that's my thought. So we, those two don't go away. The light and the fire. So which one do you want? Light or fire? Um, I don't know why. I'll take fire. My numbers are all off. Your numbers we... are all off. Ryan is just a little generally Ryan. off. That's true. But he's particularly off today. All right, so I've got my four, and you've got your four. The position of these doesn't really matter. They're just over here on the scoring. Kind of this is the scoreboard. We're just going to put them over here. Wait, did you just shuffle your guild master in? Well, if you gave me my guild master, I yes. did, because I want him out here. There we go. Yeah, that looks more like what it's supposed to look like. I started thinking about the uh, removing, that you're only supposed to remove one, and I got all thrown off. But thank you, Julian. That was a good point. It would have made for a really unique game of Rift Force. We wouldn't want to Well, I, that's why I double-checked. I was like, wait a minute. But the first one is removed at random, and then the first one of each of us is... So, yes. We remove one at random... Deal one at random, and then we draft three more, not draft three total. That was... Yes, that's... Yes. that's three more thank you for, for a total of four. I just wanted people to thank understand... Thank you for thoroughly my, explaining your mistake. That's where my mistake happened. So you're going to go first. So we got your little... What's our hand? Seven cards. So on your turn, you're going to, going to either play cards, and when you play cards... You can play up to three, yep. but they either have to be all of the same guild or all of the same number. And when you play them, you can either stack all three at one location or play them at adjacent locations. Yeah, and so I can't know. spread them all out. So if I play here, I'm going to be playing here and here or just at that one yeah, location. Yeah, and you're putting one in each. So you're either putting one in each yeah, or you can't, three in you one. Can't, yeah, basically. exactly. If you're stacking, you're stacking all the cards you play. Yeah, Carol, you might not have heard of this. Um, it's not quite out yet. Like I said earlier in the video, it's not quite out yet. Uh, it's coming out later this year, but it was a Spiel nominee. Um, so if you haven't heard of it yet, you probably will start hearing about it as the uh, actual awards happen. Um, I, I, I don't know. I think this one has a solid, solid shot at it. Like, I think this is... Uh, like a I lot of strategy in this game. haven't played it, but I do think this is going to be one of those games that's super simple to play, but very thinky. Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely. And you can, like... You can make some really, you know, smart plays in this that are like, uh, you can combo these guilds together in very cool ways. All right. Uh, the other thing you can do on your turn uh, is activate. So if you're not playing cards, you're activating. Activating is the same way, uh, except you're going to activate all of the cards of a guild yeah. or all of the cards of a number. And then finally, if you don't play or activate, you can do what they call check and draw which is where you're going to check all of the different portions of the rift, and you're going to score points if you're the only presence there. Right. It's not really like... It's not competing on right, values. Right. It's not values. There's no like you have to here. You have to have wiped out the other side completely. So if I had cards here and he didn't have here, I'd get a point here. I'd get a point for every section of the rift, and we're playing to 12. Yes. And then you draw up to your hand size. That's the only way to get cards back. So eventually you're going to draw. That's correct. You're going to have to. You're going to have that. to. Oh, boy. So, seven cards. Seven cards. Oh, man. Let's see what I got here. Oh. Don't know if you're going to like this starting hand. I am going to play three crystals. Oh. So I'm just going to play them here, here, and here. Okay. I'm going to play... It's a very fast-moving game, too. 
Because yeah. that's all I did. I played those cards, now it's Ryan's turn. I'm going to play three uh, Earth Suit. And I'm, so you guys do four damage, so that's rough. Um, I'm going to put them all in one location. And I'm going to play mine upside down so you guys can see them a little easier. So you can see that we're facing off against each other. Now these guys have a special ability. When they come into play, each one does one damage. So they're going to do three total damage to this crystal guy. And my crystals do four damage. They do four damage, yeah. And when you destroy them, I get a rift force. Your opponent gets a rift force. They're really powerful, but they give me more victory points. Ah, I see. So that's that's the, the downfall of them. All right. Yeah, there are there are a lot of really, really thinky moments here. Julian says that the cards are distributed in a pyramid, actually. So you have four fives, three sixes, two sevens of each yeah. guild. That makes sense. That's a, well, that's a good note. I am going to activate my fives. Mm -hmm. So I'm discarding this five right here, which is water. To activate this five? To activate both. Oh, yeah, to activate this five. So it's going to do four damage to the first elemental enemy. so this guy here is going to take yep. four damage okay i can't let you do that again so i'm going to also activate my earth i have one more earth card here so i'm going to play i can activate up to three earth cards each one does two damage so only the first one is actually going to do it so it's going to do two damage to your guy and kill it so whenever you kill an opponent's elemental you get one victory point or rift rift force point for one, and then his crystal gives me one additional. So I'm at two. All right. Uh, I'm going to check and draw. Yeah, that makes sense. So I get two points, right? Yep. You do. Now you don't get points. I don't. You have to be the one who checks. I have to be the one that checks. So I draw back up to seven. Yep. Though I think I might check and draw two while I still hold this one at least. So that still puts me a little bit ahead of you, one point ahead of you. And I'll draw back up to seven as well. All right. Interesting. I kind of like what I've got in my hand here. Hmm. Mm. These crystal guys are tough. Six and five. What do I have that does I'm a lot of damage? I'm going to play these fire guys. Oh, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. You could play... You could? No, that's not what I want to do. Oh. You could even play just one guy if you wanted to. They just all have to be the same uh, color or number, same pseudo number, basically. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this fire guy here. What are you reading over there? Just reading the, all the different comments. Um, you just played one fire guy? Yep. I'm going to play two uh, light guys. I'm going to put one here and one here. I'm going to turn them upside down so you can see them. All right. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I need to check my powers again. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I see why I'm... I was supposed to start with a free guy in the middle because I was second player. That's Oh, really? So I'll just do it. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really change anything. All right. I am going I was trying to, to... What I was trying to figure out was what announcement they're talking about. I don't know if they're talking about the release announcement. Everyone's talking about a big announcement. I don't know what it is. Posted somewhere in Discord on May 18th. Interesting. From David. I don't know. He must have announced about something. About what? I don't know. <laughs> so I was like, I'm, I'm like thinking about the game. Like, Ooh, they're talking about some secret announcement that we made. I am going to... You know what? I'm going to check and draw. Oh, about Jeremy leaving. Yeah, we, we talked about it. That's old news now. Yeah. I'm going to check and draw. Yep. 
So I get two points. Oh, yeah, you do get two points. You're blue, right? No, you're, yep. you're yellow. I'm and draw blue. one So you get point. two points for four. Well, do I want to check and just get two points? No, I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to play plants. I am going to play plants. I'm going to put one plant here and one plant here. All right. That's what I'm going to do. And my dog is barking somewhere in the distance. Somewhere in the not-so-distant distance. Somewhere in the distance. distance there's a dog barking. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this is unique. There's a lot of... And so as you play this game, there's a lot of decisions in terms of like, even though there's a few things to do, I don't know how this is going to play out. And I feel like I don't want to, I feel like this for me is pointless. Like I, I just, well, might you, just want to leave you have But that. if you can destroy all of them, you'll get four points just for that, fighting your way through all that. That's fair. Um, so it could be a lot of points. Well, I, I don't think you, you you might want to see the the puppy on stream, but he's he's a giant dog. He is not a small little. He's not a Chihuahua, as Gator Dave mentioned. I don't know if he sounded like a Chihuahua from so far away, but he's a big he's a big guy. He's like sixty five pounds. Poor Collie. Oh no. I'm gonna play those oh, there. Oh jeez. Okay. Well, here's what I was gonna do. Um, and I think I'm still going to do it. No, this doesn't really. I'm going to activate my sixes. And I okay. only have two sixes on the board that can activate. This guy here. So this Why is... Do you, what do you mean you only... Oh, I, I see. Because this guy's not... in the middle. This is a, I have two sixes here, but you're not putting anybody there. So effectively, they're not useful. So place two damage at the first enemy on this location. So that's going to be one, two damage on your thunder. And I could remove one damage from any ally. So we'll take one damage off this guy. And then my five over there, place two damage on the first enemy in an adjacent location, and then move him to that location. So I don't like the idea that I just put two sixes in the same spot, but I do like that I freed up two spaces for myself. Yeah. I kind of, I do like that. My turn? It is your turn. All right, I'm going to use this six, but not a six. It's a thunder card. I'm going to activate my thunders. Oh, you're not activating all your sixes. No. Uh, so you're activating all three thunders? No, I'm activating all three thunders. So That's they do two, two each. Two, four, six. So you're going to kill my light, aren't you? Yep. Ah. So that's just one point for you. David's up to five. I don't know how well you can see the card, but David's up to five now, and I'm at yeah, three. Yeah, but it's, I gotta... it's interesting. You, you grab what you can and... Well, yeah, because I have to check and draw right now because I only have two cards in my hand. Well, you Seems don't like have the, to, but... I don't have to, but I'm going to because I cleared out two spots. Yeah. So that's good for me. I can at least catch up to you and put us both at five. Four, five, six, seven. All right. Um, Oof. I will activate my sixes. Yeah, I saw this coming too. See, so, that's what I thought you were going to do And now you can activate turn. these in any order. Correct. Uh, so I'm actually, well, let's see, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter because you're going to need both uh, of them. I'm going to activate me. the fire, which puts another damage on my crystal guy. Oh, you could just flip one of those ones over to a three. Oh, that's right. Yep. And uh, the fire does, what, three damage the to fire you? fire does three damage to me. And then the crystal crystal's does... going to do four, so he's gone. Yeah, he's, he's burned out no matter what. Ugh. I get another point. Yep. I got a point for knocking this guy out, right? You've gotten, I believe you did, yeah. You've gotten, you're at six points right now. Okay. And you've killed four of mine, plus you claimed twice. Or did you claim three? I've claimed twice for four points. And then. Oh, you didn't kill all these. I played two, you killed two. And you've, yeah. and you've done it for, yeah. Yep. For four, it so you should be up. at six. It adds up. You're there. You're at six. Good. And I'm right behind you at five. I thought I gave you your points. All right, so is that it for you? It is. Hmm. So I can't just let you take that. I need to play. I'm going to play uh, three lights, and I'm going to drop them all right there. All right. Um, Fortunately, they're all three different numbers. Hmm. What are you thinking? Hmm. What are you I'm thinking? I'm going to check and draw. So give me Ooh. a point. So you're at up to seven. 
So 12 is the number you want to be at. David's at 7 right now. Oh, did you play the crystal? He's saying you played the fire after you played the crystal, didn't you? No, I think you played the fire first. You moved my crystal. I moved the crystal over there. So the no, crystal I did. should be on top. I did play the fire first. Yeah, so I think that's correct. He said the fire showed the two damage and be behind the crystal, but I don't know why. What's I don't that? know why, Julian. Julian's saying that he says that the uh, that the fire should have two damage and be behind the crystal. Why is that? No, I so I think I see the confusion. I was using this plant to move this one over, not this plant to move that one over. I had two plants next to each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I pulled to the plant. So you move the enemy to the plant's location. I pulled the crystal over. He would go on top of the fire. Um, is it my turn? You uh, checked in. You got checked and draw, right? Yeah, I did. All right, so I'm going to activate my fives. And I've got one five here, so I'm going to do two damage to this crystal. So I'm going to do two here. And he can heal one damage from any ally, so let's just heal this guy. Even though I know you've said you're not going to even mess with that. This five over here is not going to do anything, but this five here is another light. He can do two damage to the front enemy, so he's going to do two damage to the fire guy, because the fire guy is the front enemy, and I can heal one more. I like these light guys healing a lot. All right. I'm gonna play. What's the stone? What did, what's the stone guys do? Oh, not too bad. Yeah, Julian, that's correct. I had my guy, my plant guy that died was a five. He was a five sitting right there. I'm gonna play water, here, here, and here. Oh wow! So now I get zero points if I pull back now. Right now, yeah. So I'm gonna have to do something. I guess I'm gonna activate my fives. I'll activate my fives. Just, I don't, I, yeah, I'll activate my five. So this five is light, so it's going to do two damage to this guy. Cannot kill him, unfortunately. And it's going to heal one. Well, two damage means it's just three. Oh, was, yes, you're right. right. Oh, no. No, it was at two. It had two. Okay. So now it's at four. That's correct, right? Should yep. be. And then, uh, let's see, we have over here five. So that's going to do one damage. No, two damage to this enemy. I'm sorry. There's one damage when it's placed, two damage when it deals, deals damage. Then I can activate one more five. I've only got one more option here. He's going to do two damage to your fire guy in the front here, and that's four on him. So didn't kill anything, unfortunately. And I'm down to just two cards, so that's not good either. All right. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, James, it should be coming to uh, retail through Capstone. So they're bringing it in at some point. I don't know exactly when it's going to release, but it will be being imported by them. Um, and Capstone is who sponsored today's stream. So they're going to be uh, definitely putting a lot behind this, uh, making sure it's available to people. I just don't know exactly when. The, he said later this fall towards Gen Con time. I don't know if it'll be available at Gen Con. We'll find out. Hmm. No, I do think it. I, I, I do think it will be a Gen Con. I actually. I'm gonna play these seven. Almost positive, but I don't want to make any promises. I thought you were gonna leave this alone. Uh, you didn't want to give me the free points. That might have been a mistake. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, James got his Red Rising cards already. Awesome! I'm glad they were. Oh, oh nice. I'm glad you like them. I'm, hopefully that you love the game and they're a prize party. Hopefully you have the game. Well, even if you don't, it's still cool to have signed cards. I, that's from, true. That's true. Like, that's a cool deal. I've uh, never had an offer like that from a publisher, so that was kind of neat. All right, I'm going to activate my fives again. I really need to draw, but I don't I don't have anything to draw with. So he's going to do two damage, so this will finally kill that crystal. So you'll get... So I'll get two points two because points. the crystal gives me one extra. So I should have... I put one there. Um, and then I have two more fives I can use. Well, it's going to be this guy. He's going to do two damage. So four. Two to five or two to four uh -huh. that was good and this guy's gonna do two damage so he's at four so that will kill your fire guy 
right. I'll get one more point. That puts me at eight. This is your fire oh, guy, isn't it? It is my fire guy. I have one card in my hand. Gator Dave, I don't know how official the word officially is, um, but David and I will both be there. And Where's I, that? At Gen Con. Yes. And I feel like uh, we will Hero, officially Hero be will Gen probably Con. be there. Jeremy Howard, I believe, is talking about. I think Jeremy about Howard's going to come down. Coming down. So Yeah. We'll definitely be around Gen Con. We will be. We'll for be there. Sure. Gator Dave, are you coming sure. to Gen Con? It's a good question. Is that what he's saying? He, I don't, he didn't say he was or not. And I think just Tiff is coming to Gen Con, maybe. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to get some gaming maybe. in, everybody. Is it whoever to 12 immediately wins? No. Um, you finished you finish the, the round. round. Yeah, so it can kind of go back and forth. And you can get more than 12 points if you like set somebody up for like a lot of rifts open. They can just use their last action to, to How many check. cards you got left? I've got one. I've got one card. All right. I'm going oh, to... Gator Dave says he'll be at a different con. Play there. Where'd you play? Right here? Oh, but I meant to play like this. Boop. Oh, because you could choose the order when you play. Yeah. Man, I have to feel like I have to check and draw. I get zero points. Can I kill this thing? It's got needs three more damage? I can't. I have to check and draw. I get zero points. Alright. I will check and draw. I get one point. You get one point. So we're tied again at eight. Oh boy. Okay. All righty. All right. This is what I think I have to do. I'm going to activate all of my light guys. Well, I can activate up to Oof. three light guys. Yeah. So I've got three over there that are going to do two and then four to that guy to kill him. So that's two points. You might win. That's going to give me two points. Puts me at 10. This is your guy. And then the last guy is just going to do two to your water there. But it's still close. I mean, I'm at 10. You're still at 8. But you started. We have this little token to remind us of that. All right. Oh, is Escape Winter Con the same weekend as Gen Con? I had sucks that's too bad i don't like when cons are the same weekend i know that because of covid a lot of people have had no choice there's going to be a lot of overlapping this fall and it hurts because i like to go to all of these cons and having to pick and choose which ones i go to it's just not it's not fun and i'll miss out half my people because they'll be at one con or the other one but speaking of that bgg con tickets go on sale tonight let me so check my water power have you used your water power at all yet so two damage on the first enemy, and then you can move the water to another lo location and then deal one damage at the new location. Yep. I am going to activate my water mm -hmm. with this. So you get up to three. Uh, so I am going to activate this one first. Mm -hmm. And do two damage to two the first damage guy. to the first guy. So that's him. So he takes two. And you're going to move it. And then I'm going to move it here yep and deal one damage to the plant oh he does one damage yeah and place one damage at the first enemy on the new location all right so that was um, one right yep and then i am going to attack here all right and you're going to do two damage to that guy yep and i'm going to move it here and do one more damage to the plant okay then uh this five will do two damage to that guy okay so he'll be at five So he's almost dead. He's at five out of six. And then where are you moving him to? And he's going to move here. And do one more damage to this guy? Yep. Ooh, okay. How do I want to do this? I think I'm going to trigger some sixes. Um... So I'm going to use my, uh, how do I want to do this? So the, my rock guys each do two damage. To the so seven? I can do f two, four. It won't kill it, but I can do four to it. And then I have one more six. I could use the plant to pull the first enemy. So I will do that. I will do 
two damage to this enemy, and I will pull him over here. Did you do two? I haven't added the two to it yet. So he's at six out of seven. All right. That's it? Yep. All right. That was my three sixes. Didn't do exactly what, but I'm trying to set myself up for something. Um. Yeah, I know, Jordan, the Kickstarter is still fulfilling um, in a lot of places. And then, of course, Capstone optioned it, like I said, and is bringing it over. So for those that didn't back it, you'll still have a chance. But those who did back it, uh, I don't know if there will be any differences to the Cap Capstone version or if it's just a, a port. I, I assume it's just bringing it over. Um, so we'll see. Hmm. This is a game I want some promo cards for. I want, I want to see you as this giant fire guy. All right. I'm going to activate my fives with this water five. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to activate it with this fire five. Okay. Uh, so first, I will activate this. Um, the lightning or the fire? The thunder. So the thunder is going to do two damage to this guy. Yep. Yep. Uh, then I'll activate the fire. We'll take him out, right? He's at two right now. You're going to do three. Yeah, fire guy would kill him, and there's nobody behind him, so you wouldn't suffer yep. the consequences. So my light guy dies. And I get a point. Oh, boy. You're at nine points, and you have two spaces available. Yeah. Can't let that happen. Uh, and then I will attack with... Ooh, this five right here. The water five? Mm-hmm. So you're going to do two damage to this guy and kill him, right? Yep. Oh, no. That puts you tied with me at 10. Then that water guy moves to here. And does one damage to that guy? And does one damage to that guy. So he should be at three. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm going to play sevens. So I'm going to put this seven down here. When he comes in, he does one damage to each person in that row. So he does one damage here, and then one damage to fire, which will kill it. Oh, it does one damage to each guy? Yeah, it does one Whoa. damage to each enemy Whoa. on this location. Whoa. That puts me at 11. Can I get one more somehow? I'm going to put uh, the air guy here, and I will put this plant guy here. That's that's me. I cannot check and draw because I will not score point. You can check and draw and be at eleven. Mm -hmm. I'm going to activate. Let's see. You're in a tough spot here. You can't let me. This guy only has a few HP left, mm -hmm. and so does that guy. I just need one more kill. Ah, okay. So Julian has made that clear. So the, yeah, the Capstone version will be just this version of the game. Uh, you'll notice on ours, we have German on the back because this was a multi-language our multi -language version. I think the Capstone version will be US only and just have the US rules and US language on it. So people overseas or in Germany can will still get this German uh, version that we have currently. Hmm. What do I want to do? I think my best bet is going to be, let's see, that that's going to do not quite enough. Oh, let's see, wait a minute though. That'll do three, seven, ah, not quite enough. You need two points, huh? Not quite enough. And you get two points. Like I don't think I can get two points. You need to get two points. I, mean, I can't get two points. If you can't get two points, then that might be it for me. Oh, you're going to win it? I only need one point. I just have to kill this guy or this guy. So you need, you need to figure out a way to get two points this turn. Is the math there? I mean, you could probably kill this guy, but could you kill... No, I can kill that guy for sure. I just can't get another one. Um, I 
Yeah, you'll be close. Because you can do two. Then you could do two more to that guy, bring him down to four. But your water guy only does two. So you'll be two damage short there. You need a third guy here. That would have really helped out. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and activate my water with this. Mm -hmm. Um, and I will do two damage. Do two damage. All right, so that's going to kill my earth guy here. That's a point. That and is then, a point. And then that he's going to move 11. And then he's going to move here. And do one damage and to do that one guy. one damage. Okay. And then this guy is going to attack there. And do two damage, mm -hmm. right? And then move to an adjacent location. And do one. Oh, you're putting him there, huh? Doing one. And then this five is going to do two. Puts him at six, though. Yeah, not, not quite enough. Not quite enough, unfortunately. Ah, oh, that was so close, David. And then this one comes and does one. That was so close. One damage short there. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. But you put this guy here who only has one health left. Yeah, but I mean, I... I... Well, what could have saved you is if I didn't have a light or a 567. <laughs> but uh, that's still, there's yeah. one. But I'm... You were going to be able to attack there. I could have, but really I was What's just trying to do? kill I one of your... Even check there. Or air. Oh, I haven't even used air. Uh, he's oh, that's first, not even... He moves to any location and then deals one damage... Oh, to uh, each? ...on the first enemy at the new... And adjacent locations. But I haven't really used air much. Interesting. No, you haven't. It's just based on what you've been drawing. I've been using my air cards to activate other cards. And that's kind of the, the problem. If I ever had like a handful of air cards, I could have dropped out a bunch of air oh, cards Oh, yeah, I wasn't once. even thinking. So I can tell you right now, this is one of those games after you play for the first time, you're like, oh, okay, I want to play this again. Because there is a lot of decision making going in to the positioning and stacking of these things. Oh, for sure. Because if I could have moved it such that um, if I could have ordered that such that he was on top there, he was, I moved him here. You would have been in good shape. But then you can close and draw. You can draw. And... But then I could just draw and get one point. Yeah. Yeah. I, you were in a tough, you needed to kill that guy and get to 12 first. And then I would catch up to 12. So if that had happened, if David had been able to do that, killed that guy, if David had gone to 12 first and then I had gone to 12 first, it doesn't end in a tie. We actually go back and forth. It's almost like tennis. We go back and forth to see yeah. who can get ahead of the person. So, but so, I didn't, and then you would you on didn't, your turn? Unfortunately. Well, yeah, I would activate we'll all my play. light guys and do two damage. I mean, I only need to do so one damage. So this guy damage. would get knocked out? So that guy would get knocked out. And, and that, that would, would be it? Because that was the and end that, of the round? Because you started, so that would be it. We finished the round, but I you started the round, and I end the round. So, I, at one point, I just got one hmm. point of advantage on you somehow. It, very interesting. You know, I could see, too, this game um, having expansion oh, upon expansion I mean, upon easily. expansion. I mean, I don't know how hard it would be to continually come up with ones to balance, but I don't it think doesn't it would... seem like the game is so complicated that it wouldn't be difficult, you know, that you could come up with a few more things. Oh, for sure. I mean, it's the same thing I said. This game, it, it's not the same, but I said the same thing about Ethnos. I was like, Ethnos could have been infinitely expansion. Or there could have been infinite expansions. I didn't, they didn't do it. They didn't capitalized on that so i'm hoping i feel like julian's probably involved with this game in some way based on his <laughs> inside knowledge i assume yes uh, so if you're listening julian i yes i'm like these 10 are cool and the, the combo like you have almost infinite combos but i always want more i'm always like give me more give what me more were the elements. ones we didn't use let's uh we didn't use ice ice could have if there is uh damage on the last enemy you do four more damage to it when you do damage or you just do one damage so, if you had been in that situation where this guy, the guy had been last... But he's always attacking the last en enemy. Yeah, he's always attacking the last den enemy. Enemy. That's interesting. And in if and he has done... Itself. Yes, and he'll do one damage, and then he could do four damage. So, if you have multiple ice on there, and the first one does one damage to the last enemy, then you could do four more to win. I'm going to make an admission here, too. I totally misread my crystal thing. I shouldn't have thought of this, but when I read that, when I took the crystal you thing... You thought you got... The bonus? I thought it was basically, I'll put these guys up front, 
and it makes it so that you don't want to attack them because you're going to be giving me a point. No, no, no. It gives me... A, but they no. do four damage. I learned that. So they, I, they I should have realized hard. that when they were doing four damage that it, there was a downside. I did get one... I think I killed one of your crystals. Maybe I killed two, so I got two extra points from that. But... Oh, yeah, you did. You killed two. But that's, that's the downside. No, you killed three. And you can't really move them, right? Like, crystals have no movement ability. So when they're out, they're out. And you, you have to, like, find... Because anything you comp, anything you add goes behind. No, it. I did the opposite of what I should have done with it. This probably gave you the win because I first round I put three you crystals did. on the front line. You did. And the crystals, after now playing, are back line guys. They are. You want to put them in the back and yeah. just punch from the back and keep them protected. You just don't want to put the fire guys in front of them. So as always, I'm here to demonstrate what not to do when you play the game. So don't play your crystal guys up at the front line. Oh, that's a good... Julian just proceed. Julian's dropping the knowledge. What's that? He said the, the thing about the guilds is you can't really have like a support guild that works with another guild. Like each guild has to stand on its own because you don't know which... Any three combinations of guilds has to be viable, which makes sense. He also said uh, working on more. Yeah, he did say working One on more. One thing that makes this game yeah. so crazy. So crazy design. No support guilds. Yeah. Yeah. So... Opening with crystals is like serving your head on a plate. Hey, I wanted to give Ryan a chance. And you know what? The fact that I opened with crystals and I was one away from winning, I feel pretty good about that. Well, see, that. but that's the, that's the thing is like you did open with crystals and it might be like, oh, no, you're going to get two, four, six points for killing all those. But you're doing like you're if you activate all three and you do four, four, four. No, sure. That's but, a lot of damage to do out right on the first turn. But I should have waited one round and had them. Second in line, at least. Probably. I thought it was a bold move. I was like, okay, you're putting your crystals no, up No, I didn't for realize me. it until you said that, and I was like, no, yeah, wait, what? <laughs> opponent gains plus one. Yeah. Well, there's another one. Um, the shadow guy here that we didn't play with. Uh, first of all, the shadow moves anywhere, then does one damage to the first enemy. But if that kills it, he gets an additional rift force, so he could get two. Yeah. Um, I had one where, yeah, thunder. Yeah. If thunderbolt... Thunderbolt destroys an enemy. You can repeat. I know its attack, you needed to. If you had had cool. like a bunch of thunderbolts and you could activate three of them, like six well, I did damage here. Sure, but, but that would have been the place. I avoided this area. This was rough because it's like if you do two and then if you kill it, you do two more and then you could do two more. The again. Comboing is quite fun, especially uh, what I got into the groove with with these water guys was like moving them, and I didn't realize that they did an extra damage when they moved. But you can really start to stack things up. Oh, yeah. If you just have, like, three water guys and yeah. you just activate water, water. But that's the thing is, like, you have to hope that you don't run out of drawing water cards. Because then you can't, you can no longer activate your water cards. But you had two waters that were five. So you're okay because if you don't have any water cards, you probably have a five. And you can still activate at least two yeah, of them. Yeah, what you'd want to also be careful about, I think, is putting a stack of sevens out. Like, you could do that. Well, it might have been good here because you could activate it all seven. Like, all three sevens. No, sure, you could, but you don't have a lot of sevens in your oh, that's hand true. To, to do that if with, If all right? your sevens are out, you probably aren't drawing sevens. <laughs> right. That's true. So it's a risky maneuver, yeah. although you do have a lot of health on that location. Right, if you can get some sevens up front and take a lot of the, the blows. Also, you don't so. want fire guys to be front line. You don't want fire guys to be front, front line. So, all right, well, thank you guys so much. Yeah. Um, oh, you, you also didn't use ice. That's true. You really didn't use ice at all. Place two damage on the first enemy. Or we didn't have ice. Who was I? None of us were ice. No, I didn't have ice. Oh, the ice guy's right here. That's what he's saying. The ice guy's huge. Four damage to the last enemy. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for coming out today. Uh, like I said, please comment, uh, like, everything, uh, and you'll get entered into win this game, um, and which whenever it comes out here in the U.S. So, I think it's going to be a popular one. Yeah, I think so. I think it's going to be a, a big one, especially... It's nominated for Spiel, so... Well, it's a great two-player game. I mean, this yeah. is this has got just infinite playability well, it's, it's between like a really, couple people. Uh, I mean, you have the damage tokens, but besides that, it's just cards. So it's very, very portable. Yeah, and not to mention, like, you know, if you're ever f trying to find someone to play a game with you, like if you're into Magic or if you're into games like that and you can't find someone to play with you, this game, yeah, it's going to scratch some of the same itches. And it's easy to teach. And it's super, yeah, super easy, easy to, to teach. teach. So... That's Rift Force, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.